Hello viewers, welcome to City Report. Today we are gonna explore state Alabama. Let's get started. Alabama is a state in the southeastern region of the United States, bordered by Tennessee to the north, Georgia to the east, Florida and the Gulf of Mexico to the south, and Mississippi to the west. Alabama is the 30th largest by area and the 24th most populous of the US states. With a total of 1,500 miles of inland waterways, Alabama has among the most of any state. Alabama is nicknamed the Yellowhammer State. Alabama is also known as the heart of Dixie and the Cotton State. The state tree is the longleaf pine and the state flower is the camellia. Alabama's capital is Montgomery. The largest city by the population is Birmingham, which has long been the most industrialized city. The largest city is Huntsville. The oldest city is Mobile, founded by French colonists in 1702 as the capital of French Louisiana, is Alabama's largest urban economy, its most populous urban area, and its economic center. The state's geography is diverse, with the north dominated by the mountainous Tennessee Valley and the south by Mobile Bay, a historically significant port. Politically, as a part of Deep South, Alabama is now a predominantly conservative state and it is known for its southern culture. Today, American football, particularly at the college level at schools like the University of Alabama, Indigenous peoples of varying cultures lived in the area for thousands of years before the advent of European colonization. Trade with the northeastern tribes by the Ohio River began during the burial mound period and continued until European contact. Alabama is the 30th largest state in the United States with 52,419 square miles of total area. 3.2% of the area in water, making Alabama 23rd in the amount of surface water, also giving it the second largest inland waterway system in the United States. About three-fifths of the land area is a gentle plain, with a general descent towards the Mississippi River and the Gulf of Mexico. The North Alabama region is mostly mountainous, with the Tennessee River cutting a large valley and creating numerous creeks, streams, rivers, mountains, and lakes. Number 10. National Voting Rights Museum The National Voting Rights Museum and Institute, established in 1991 and opened in 1993, is an American museum in Selma, Alabama, which honors, chronicles, collects, archives, and displays the artifacts and testimony of the activities who participated in the event leading up to and including the 1965 Selma to Montgomery marches and passage of the 1965 Voting Rights Act, as well as those who worked for the African American voting rights and women's suffrage movements, as the museum describes in its mission statement, it recognizes other people, events, and actions which furthered America's right to vote since the Founding Fathers first planted the seeds of democracy in 1776. The museum was founded by Fire Aura Rose, Tor, and Marie Foster. It is located near the Edmund Pettus Bridge. On this bridge on March 7, 1965, voting rights Marchers who left the city for a planned walk to Montgomery were beaten and clubbed by Dallas County Posse and Alabama State Troopers in what became known as Bloody Sunday. They had passed into the county on a planned walk of 54 miles to Montgomery, Alabama's state capital. This treatment was nationally televisioned and covered by major media, arousing national outrage. After gaining federal protection from President Lyndon B. Johnson and a federal court order protecting their right to march, thousands of people left Selma on March 21, reaching Montgomery. Several days later, by then, they had been joined by thousands more, black and white, and 25,000 marchers entered the state capital to press for protection of constitutional voting rights. Later that summer, the Voting Rights Act of 1965 introduced by the Johnson administration was passed by Congress and signed by the President. Number 9. Rosenbaum House Museum The Rosenbaum House is a single-family house designed by architect 
Frank Lloyd Wright and built for Stanley and Mildred Rosenbaum in Florence, Alabama. A noted example of his Usonian house concept, it is the only Wright building in Alabama and is one of only 26 pre-World War II Usonian houses. Wright scholar John Sergeant called it the purest example of the Usonian. In 1938, newlyweds Stanley Rosendam, a professor at Florence State Teachers College, and his wife Mildred were given a building, lot and funds to build a house in Florence, Alabama. Both had read Frank Lloyd Wright's autobiography and a cover story on Wright in Time magazine. The Rosenbums took a precedence in September 1940, and the first photographs for the house were exhibited at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City the following month. This house was also the childhood home of notable American film critic Jonathan Rosenbaum. The house was placed on the National Register of Historic Places. In 1978, it remained in the Rosenbaum family until 1999, when Mildred Rosenbaum moved into a nursing home, longer than any of Wright's other Usonian clients. By this time, the house was in poor repair, with extensive water penetration and termite damage. The Rosenbaum family donated the house to the city of Florence and at the same time sold the furniture and content of the house to the city for $75,000. Number 8. Mobile Bay Mobile Bay is shallow inlet of the Gulf of Mexico, lying within the state of Alabama in the United States. Its mouth is formed by the Fort Morgan Peninsula on the eastern side and Dauphin Island, a barrier island on the western side. The Mobile River and Tensor River empty into the northern end of the bay, making it an estuary. Several smaller rivers also empty into the bay, Dog River, Deer River, and Fall River on the western side of the bay and Fish River on the eastern side. Mobile Bay is the fourth largest estuary in the United States with a discharge of 62,000 cubic feet of water per second annually and often several times during the summer months. The fish and crustaceans will swarm the shallow coastline and shore of the bay. This event appropriately named a Jubilee draws, but the average depth of the bay is 10 feet long occupied by cultures of indigenous peoples. This area was still under the chiefs of Mississippian culture at the time of Hernando de Soto's exploration. The recorded history of Mobile Bay begins about 1500 when Spanish explorers were sailing into the area. On early maps, the bay was named as Bahia del Espiritu Santo, Bay of the Holy Spirit. The area was explored in more detail in 1516 by Diego Murillo and in 1519 by Alonso Alvarez de Pineda. In 1528, Panfilo de Narvaez traveled through what was likely the Mobile Bay area, encountering Native Americans who fled and burned their towns at the approach of the expedition. This response was a prelude to the journeys of Hernando de Soto more than 11 years later. Number 7. McQueen Science Center The McQueen Science Center, formerly known as the McQueen Center, is a science museum and research archive located in downtown Birmingham, Alabama, United States. The state-of-the-art science center, aquarium, and 120-seat IMAX dome theater is housed in the historic and refurbished Loveman's Department store building. It opened to the public on July 11, 1998. On the lower level, there is the World of Water exhibit showcasing more than 50 species of marine and freshwater aquatic life. There is touch tank with different species of small sharks and rays. There are also shark teeth that can be observed under a mic microscope and different displays about water pollution. The Alabama Collection Center, located on the second floor, is the home for more than 5 lakh items from the former Red Mountain Museum. The center houses precious minerals, fossils, and Native American artifacts, the most noteworthy among them including the world's fourth largest collection of mesosaurs, the Apalachiosaurus, similar to Tyrannosaurus, and the state fossil of Alabama, the Basilosaurus, Cetoids, and 80-foot fossil whale.
for smaller children, there is the ETBT Magic City exhibit on the second floor featuring a climbing structure, a water play area and area for toddlers specifically and an area with smaller version of common buildings in a city. The model buildings are all made to help younger children learn skills they will need later on or connect with their parents. One example is a model grocery store where children can learn about the main food groups while shopping with their parents. The exhibit opened on May 16, 2015 and was a remodeling of an older early childhood play place with the same name previously located on the third floor. Number 6. Barber Motorsports Park Barber Motorsports Park is an 880-acre multipurpose racing facility located in Birmingham, Alabama. It was built by George W. Barber and includes the 2,30,000 square foot Barber Vintage Motorsport Museum. It has been the site of the IndyCar Series Grand Prix of Alabama since 2010. The annual Barber Vintage Festival has taken place at the park each October since 2005. Barber Motorsports Park is also the home of the Porsche Track Experience. Barber Motorsports Park is classified as an FIA Grade 2 circuit. The park which opened in 2003 has a 16-turn, 2.38-mile road course designed by Alan Wilson, viewable from the Barber Vintage Motorsports Museum as well as from naturally wooded or grass-covered banks surrounding it. The track is 45 feet wide and is designed to be run clockwise. The layout is compact with elevation changes of more than 80 feet. The pit lane is to the outside of the track. Parallel to the front stretch, the pit wall is on the driver's left. Two cutoff turns, which are barricaded when not in use, allow the track to be shortened for testing sessions or promoter events. During the 2012 off-season, much of the track surface was ground using a diamond grinder. This prolongs the life of the track's surface as well as adds grip for the cars and bikes that race there. The area outside of the front stretch bounded by the track on three sides is occupied by the multi-level paddock. A building along the front straightaway houses a media center, a race control area, track offices, garages, and some VIP viewing areas. The track does not have permanent grandstands. The main spectator area is along the back stretch. Between turns 8 and 11, here spectators can watch from embankments or from temporary grandstands erected for race weekends. From this area, most of the course except for turn 2, 3 and 13 is visible. A food and souvenir vending area is located in the vicinity of turns 9, 10. Additional spectator areas are outside of turns 2, 3 and 14, and event-related RV park and campaign area located at top a hill behind the paddock. There is generally no spectator access to the infield. However, an entryway underneath the course at turn 12 allows emergency and maintenance vehicle to access the infield area. Number 5. The U.S. Space and Rocket Center the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama is a museum operated by the government of Alabama showcasing rockets, achievements, and artifacts of the U.S. space program. Sometimes built as Earth's largest space museum, astronaut Owen Garriott described the place as a great way to learn about space in a town that has embraced the space program from the very beginning. The center opened in 1970, just after the Apollo 12 moon landing, the second crewed mission to the lunar surface. It showcased Apollo program hardware and also house interactive science exhibits, space shuttle exhibits, and army rocketry and aircraft. With more than 1,500 permanent rocketry and space exploration artifacts, as well as many rotating rocketry and space-related exhibits, the center occupies land carved out of redstone arsenal adjacent to Huntsville Botanical Garden at Exit 15 on Interstate 565. The center offers bus tours of nearby NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center. 
The idea for the museum was first proposed by Dr. Werner von Braun, who led the efforts of the United States to land the first man on the moon. Plans for the museum were underway in 1960 with an economic feasibility study for the Huntsville Madison County Chamber of Commerce. Von Braun, understanding the dominance of football in the Alabama culture, persuaded rival Alabama and urban coaches Beer Bryant and Shug Jordan to appear in a television commercial supporting a $1.9 million statewide bond referendum to finance museum construction. The referendum passed on November 30, 1965, and a donation of land from the Army's Redstone Arsenal provided a location on which to build. The Space and Rocket Center introduces visitors to U.S. rocketry efforts via both indoor and outdoor displays from its predecessor at Peenemund with the German V-1 flying bomb and V-2 rocket through a progression of U.S. military rockets such as the Redstone and Jupiter IRPM vehicles and civilian derivatives such as the Mercury, Redstone and the Juno 2 up to the Saturn rocket family. Civilian rockets including the vertically displayed Saturn I-Block 2 dynamic test vehicle SAD-5 which has become a famous local landmark and on the space shuttle the Saturn V dynamic test vehicle SA-500D the only Saturn V of the three on display to have been brought together outside a museum is displayed overhead in a new building designed specifically for the rocket named Davidson Center for Space Exploration. The Space Shuttle Pathfinder was the first manufactured Space Shuttle Orbiter, a mock-up made of steel and wood, to test facilities for later handling the actual vehicle and is now sits atop and an external tank with solid rocket boosters attached. Number 4 Civil Rights Memorial The Civil Rights Memorial is an American memorial in Montgomery, Alabama, created by Maya Lin. The names of 41 people are inscribed on the granite fountain as martyrs who were killed in the civil rights movement. The memorial is sponsored by the Southern Poverty Law Center. The names included in the memorial belong to those who were killed between 1954 and 1968. Those dates were chosen because in 1954, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that racial segregation in schools was unlawful, and 1968 is the year of the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. The monument was created by Maya Lin, who is the best known for creating the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C. The Civil Rights Memorial was dedicated in 1989. The concept of Lin's design is based on the soothing and healing effect of water. It was inspired by a passage from King's One, King's I Have a Dream speech. We will not be satisfied until justice rolls down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. The quotation in the passage which is inscribed on the memorial is a direction paraphrase of Amos 524 as translated in the American Standard Version of the Bible. The memorial is a fountain in the form of an asymmetric inverted stone cone. A film of water flows over the base of the cone which contains the 41 names included. It is possible to touch the smooth film of water and to alter it temporarily, which quickly turns to smoothness. As such, the memorial represents the aspirations of the civil rights movement to end legal racial segregation. The memorial is in downtown Montgomery at 400 Washington Avenue in an open plaza in front of Civil Rights Memorial Center which was the offices of the Southern Poverty Law Center until it moved across the street into a new building in 2001. The memorial may be visited freely 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The Civil Rights Memorial Center offers guided group tours lasting approximately 1 hour. Tours are available by appointment Monday to Saturday. The memorial is only a few blocks from other historic sites including the Dexter Avenue King Memorial Baptist Church. The Alabama State Capitol, the Alabama Department of Archives and History, Department of Archives and History. The corners were Claudette Colvin and Rosa Parks boarded buses in 1955 on which they would later refuse to give up their seats and the Rosa Parks Library and Museum. 
नंबर थ्री गल्फ स्टेट पार्क गल्फ स्टेट पार्क इज अ पब्लिक रिक्रिएशन एरिया ऑन द गल्फ ऑफ मैक्सिको इन द सिटी ऑफ गल्फ शोज इन सदर्न बेलविन काउंटी एलाबामा द स्टेट पार्क सिक्स थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एकर्स मोस्टली एन कम्पास द लैंड बिहाइंड द गल्फ शोज बीच कम्युनिटी बिटवीन हाईवे फिफ्टी नाइन एंड एस एच वन सिक्स वन विद द वेस्ट एंड एक्सटेंडिंग फर्दर साउथ टू अ वाइड बीच एरिया इन एडिशन टू बीच इज द पार्क इंक्लूड्स मार्श लैंड बागी टी कलर्ड स्ट्रीम्स फाइन फॉरेस्ट एंड थ्री स्प्रिंग फेल फ्रेश वाटर लेक्स लेक चेल बी सेवन फिफ्टी एकर्स और थ्री हंड्रेड हेक्टर्स मिडल लेक एंड लिटिल लेक द पार्क इज मैनेज बाय द एलाबामा डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंजर्वेशन एंड नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज विद पार्क एनफोर्समेंट रेंजर्स प्रोवाइडिंग अराउंड द क्लॉक सिक्योरिटी एंड एनफोर्सिंग एंटी लिटरिंग रेगुलेशंस The park's facilities including cabins and a casino were built in the 1930s by members of the Civilian Conservation Corps working under the auspices of the federal government. The park opened in 1939 after ownership of the property was transferred to the state after weathering multiple hurricanes. The park was devastated by Hurricane Ivan in 2004. Major projects undertaken in the wake of the storm saw the construction of a 1540 foot gulf of mexico fishing pier that provides 2448 feet of fishing space a 5000 square foot swimming pool and splash pad and interactive nature center a beach pavilion and renovation of the campground In 2014, the state of Alabama announced plans to spend 35 million dollar to further renovate the park. The plans include a 56 million dollar lodge and meeting space. The plan have been criticized on grounds that money for the project would come from deep water horizon recovery funds. Critics say should be used for continued clean up and improvement of the coastal areas. In October 2012, a lawsuit was filed by the Gulf Restoration Network to block use of the fund for the construction of the lodge. State officials say critics misunderstand the plans. Number 2, Battleship Memorial Park. Battleship Memorial Park is a military history park and museum located on the western shore of Mobile Bay in Mobile, Alabama. It has a collection of notable aircraft and museum ships including the South Dakota class battleship USS Alabama and Gato class submarine USS Drum. USS Alabama and USS Drum are both national historic landmarks. The park as a whole was listed on the Alabama Register of Landmarks and Heritage prior to that time on October 28, 1977. In May 1962, USS Alabama had been ordered scrapped along with her South Dakota class sister ships, USS South Dakota, USS Indiana, and USS Massachusetts. Citizens of the state of Alabama had formed the USS Alabama Battleship Commission to raise funds for the preservation of Alabama and as a memorial to the men and women who served in World War II. Alabama's school children raised approximately 1 lakh dollar in nickels and dimes from lunch money and allowances to help the cause. The ship was awarded to the state on June 16, 1964 and was formally turned over on July 7, 1964 in ceremonies at Seattle, Washington. Alabama was then towed to her permanent berth at Mobile, Alabama, arriving in Mobile Bay on September 14, 1964, and opening as a museum ship on January 9, 1965. Alabama was joined in 1969 by USS Drum, a World War II Gato class submarine, which was moored behind her until 2001. when the submarine was moved onto land for preservation in a permanent display in 2003 a replica of a confederate submarine that was built in mobile css hl hunley was moved to the park hurricane katrina caused more than 7 million dollar in damages to battleship memorial park on august 29 2005 when it came ashore It almost completely dis- destroyed the aircraft pavilion and gave Alabama an 8 degree list to port and shifting at her permanent anchorage.
This forced the park to temporarily close for repairs. It reopened on January 9, 2006. The park is owned by the state of Alabama and is run by an independent government agency, the USS Alabama Battleship Commission. The commission consists of 18 members from over the entire state appointed by the Alabama governor. It has oversight of all operations at the park. The 2001 USA Cross Country Championships were held at a cross-country running course in the park. Number 1. Birmingham Birmingham Civil Rights Institute is a large interpretive museum and research center in Birmingham, Alabama that depicts, that depicts the struggles of the civil rights movement in the 1950s and 1960s. The institute is located in the civil rights district which includes the historic 16th Street Baptist Church, Kelly Ingram Park, 4th Avenue Business District and the Alabama Jazz Hall of Fame located in the Carver Theater. The institute opened in November 1992 and had more than 25,000 visitors during its first week. The institute showcases a walking journey through the living institution, which displays the lesson of the past as a positive way to chart new directions for the future. The permanent exhibitions are a self-directed journey through Birmingham's contributions to the civil rights movement and human rights struggles. Multimedia exhibitions focus on the history of African-American life and the struggle for civil rights. The oral history project on the museum's multimedia exhibits documents Birmingham's role in the civil rights movement through the voice of the movement participants. The museum is an affiliate in the Smithsonian Affiliations Program. Through this program, the museum can acquire long-term loans and is currently hosting the Smithsonian Institution Traveling Exhibition Service. Exhibition Let Your Motto Be Resistance On May 24, 2013, President Barack Obama signed into law H.R. 360 from the 113th United States Congress, a bill which awarded the Congressional Gold Medal to Eddie May Collins, Denise McNair, Carol Robertson, and Cynthia Wesley to commemorate the lives they lost 50 years ago in the bombing of 16th Street Baptist Church. The gold medal was given to the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute to display or loan out to other museums. On March 21, 2016, Rep. Terry Sewell introduced to the United States House of Representatives H.R. 4817 a bill that would designate the Birmingham Civil Rights District, including the Civil Rights Institute, as a national park. On March 28, 2016, the bill was referred to the Subcommittee on Federal Lands. However, a portion of the district was designated by executive order by President Obama as the Birmingham Civil Rights National Monument on January 12, 2017. This was all about State Alabama. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Do share with your friends and family.